And uh, Johar Sarkar, uh, the TMC MP, he has quit uh, Rajya Sabha's uh, post uh, in uh, breaking development, uh, the TMC leader, Johar Sarkar. He has uh, given his resignation uh, from uh, the Rajya Sabha. He has cited growing disillusionment uh, with the state's governance, uh, especially with context, uh, in context with uh, the RJ Kaur Medical College and Hospital uh, rape case and murder. Uh, he has also uh, cited corruption issues within the TMC. In fact, he wrote a letter to the party leadership uh, where he expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to represent the state's concerns, but also uh, highlighted uh, the frustrations over uh, the lack of action against corruption and especially uh, in the case of uh, the uh, RG Corp Medical, uh, Medical uh, College case uh, where uh, a doctor, a 31-year-old trainee doctor was raped and murdered. And in fact, my colleague uh, uh, Saurabh Gupta joins us uh, to get us more on this. Saurabh, uh, this is one of uh, the high-profile exits uh, from the TMC. What are the details that you can give us? Well, yes, you know, uh, definitely one of the high-profile exits because he's officially resigned. There was another Rajya Sabha MP about whom there's been speculation. Uh, but the resignation hasn't come through and I'm talking about Shukhendu Shekhar Roy. Uh, but in this case, Johar Sharkar, who's of course been a very, very strong Trinamool voice on social media, also in the Rajya Sabha, is someone who's also known as a former IAS officer. So his resignation is something that, of course, the Trinamool uh, is now uh, facing. And this is uh, the letter itself is something that the Trinamool uh, will find it uh, embarrassing, to say the least, given the fact that he's highlighted what he says corruption issues. Now, these are, of course, issues that has been flagged at, um, at, at, at the level of Jawahar Sharkar. And he's something that, uh, it's something that the party will have to look at in terms of allegations because, uh, you know, when it comes from opposition parties, when it comes from, uh, let's say, the BJP, uh, the Trinamool can always say that, you know, these are allegations that have, uh, you know, been made by the BJP, they are politically opposed to us, so and so, so on and so forth. But... This one is, an, uh, you know, there are allegations here from uh, one of their own, an MP. And uh, Johar Sharkar has been a strong critic of the BJP, is someone who's been actively uh, criticizing the BJP. So the Trinamool will no doubt find this one difficult to deal with. However, what the Trinamool's response is and what strategy it adopts as far as Johar Sharkar's uh, resignation is something we will get to know perhaps in the next few hours and hopefully also have a reaction from the Trinamool Congress on how it sees these allegations that have been made by Johar Sharkar, which are now in the public domain. All right.